Richard Southern joins us to talk about some of the day's more fun stories. And we begin with a celebration of sorts, Richard. It's National Pizza Day. Happy National Pizza Day, Eric. Happy National Pizza Day. <laughs> I yeah, believe pizza. it's here again. Yeah, uh, I know who doesn't, right? And it turns out Canadians, we Canadians, we're actually eating more pizza than, than ever. We have some stats here. Turns out last year, more than 500 million wow. servings of pizza were devoured by Canadians. That was up 13% over the prior year. It's a lot of places to buy it. There's more than 17,000 pizza restaurants here in Canada. Uh, Ontario eats more pizza than anyone else, followed by Quebec and British Columbia. Mm. But what do we consider most when we're buying pizza? Toppings, number one. The crust thickness, very important to us, Erica. Uh, size, number three, followed by price and whether or not or it's healthy or how healthy it is. Reason. Uh, pizza really growing in popularity around the world. You look at the fastest growing pizza restaurants, you find them in Russia, Germany, and Thailand. 36% of people, by the way, Erica, consider pizza a bread. Food. So, what are your favorite pizza toppings? And dare I ask, does pineapple belong on it, Erica? First of all, yes, pineapple does belong on a pizza. Let's settle that debate. Second, um, I would say vegetarian pizza. I used to live off of that in university. There was a pizza pizza on campus, and I would have it at lunch all the time. So, you, you're the veggie topping person. I like the yeah, veggie toppings. It's good. It's good. Um, uh, all right, well, that's what we're having for dinner tonight, so pizza. <laughs> there you go. If you're looking for something to wash down that pizza, Richard, black coffee might be a good choice. It's good for the heart, they say. How do you take your coffee, Erica? I take it uh, regular, one cream, one sugar. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe give, give life. This is what happened to me during the pandemic. I used to take cream in it, and then, uh, you know, not going out as much, I learned to like the black coffee. And now there's studies out today saying black coffee one or more cups a day is associated with a reduced risk of heart failure. This is according to the American Heart Association. Uh, the benefit didn't extend to decaffeinated coffee. You had to have regular coffee, apparently. The researchers not quite sure why this is the case. They do warn, though, that, you know, if you got uh, diabetes or sleep issues, talk to your doctor before you start guzzling down the coffee. But there you go. Black coffee, actually pretty good, they're saying. Here. Yeah, I've heard. I'm trying to switch to black coffee more and more, but uh, we'll see if that happens maybe by the end of uh, <laughs> the year. Um, a Toronto man mansion that was made famous in certain in a certain sitcom is now up for sale. Yeah, Shit's Creek, yeah, super popular, right? All these Emmys and everything and Golden Globe nominations. Oh Here's the mansion. This is near uh, Lawrence and uh, Bayview, uh, York Mills and Bayview, rather. It, it is going on the market here for 15 million. It's a French style chateau mansion, 12 bedrooms, Erica, 16 bathrooms, two swimming pools, one indoor, one out. There's a fitness center, a sauna, a golf simulator, a billiards room, a wine cellar, and of course, a theater. You see that at the beginning of Shit's Creek. This would be perfect for lockdown, don't you think, Erica? I think so. Now I have uh, something to spend that $14 million I was saving. But yeah. the, don't forget Richie now. You know, right. got me in on it. <laughs> we can have big parties yeah. all the time, uh, post-pandemic. All right, thanks, Richard. We'll see you again tomorrow. See you tomorrow.